Okay, this is going to be about um, classes and modules. I'm not getting into object-oriented programming yet. I'll do that next episode, and that's like the, the heart of programming. Um, so, what is a module and what is a class? They both just hold code, and it's a better way of organizing it. That is if you're not making an object. Um, so, if you're not making an object, it's just a uh, neat organization. That's pretty much it. Um, I'm going to show you differences. Uh, so a class can be made into an object, and we'll get to that later on. Another difference between a class and a module is a class can be linked to an interface, like a GUI, like a form. Notice how this is a module because there's no form with it. It the class is a class because it has a form linked to it. So that's the difference. Um, but other than that, they pretty much have the same purpose. You have to treat them slightly differently. So if you're going to make loads of functions and constants then I recommend just using a module uh, just for easiness if you're making object or into programming then I recommend using a class but there are certain exceptions and stuff so I'm gonna make a module first I'm gonna call it my maths module and there's some alliteration there so inside the my maths module I'm going to make a function called function SQR. I know there's already SQR in the maths class, but pretend there isn't. Uh, by val n as integer as integer return n times n. So then, if I was to do my maths mod dot square, I'll put four in, and I'll get that back out fine like that. That's all good. I'm going to show you about a class now. So I'm going to delete this module because I won't be needing it. I'm going to add a class. I'm going to call it uh, my maths class. And I should have not deleted that, but uh, SQR. What else? Is Okay, so I've got the function rewritten here. Now this won't work. If we do my maths class, you'll see you get these two extra things that come with a class, but you don't get the function. Now why is that? It's because it's not shared, and you don't know what shared means, do you? Um, I can't get in depth about what shared is um, because I need to get through object oriented programming. Just know if you're not making an object um, of a class and you just want to use it, you have to put shared. So if you're making an object of a class, you don't need to put shared. If you are, you're going to need to put shared. So one other thing is the difference between public and private. By default, a function is public, which is why I can put. Uh, put dot sqr and then put three in and we'll get nine because it's public what public means is it can be read from any other class or module um, this this function can be used from any other class or module which is why I can use it here if I make this private then we'll get an error because we can't access it because it's private so that means only things within this class will be able to see it you can also make public and private variables, so bear that in mind.